hello guys you welcome to my channel today we want to look at some problems on vector and scalar like we explained in the last class on vector and scalar you can find the link to that class in our description box below so today we are going to be solving questions on that particular topic let's look at the first question here yeah the question says a boat travels due east and at a speed of 40 meter per second across a river flowing due south at 30 meter per second what is the resultant speed of the boat how are we going to get the resultant speed remember in that class we said resultant is a single vector that will have the same effect as two or more vectors acting at a point now let's quickly interpret this question and see how we can go about the solution solution now a boat travels due east so this is the direction of east so the boat is traveling in this direction across a river flowing due south the direction of the river is due south like this so the speed in which the boat is using to travel due east is 40 meter per second and the river flow due south with a speed of 30 meter per second now the question now says what is the resultant speed of the boat we are looking for the resultant speed now the point at which these two vectors act to each other is this point here so the resultant is this so this is r now you will agree with me that this side, like this, is equivalent to this. So here is also 30 meter per second. And this side will be the same thing as this, which is also 40 meter per second. Now, if I label this triangle O, A, B, and C, so I'm having two right angle triangle here. Right angle triangle OAB and right angle triangle OCB. So I can consider any of the two. So if I consider right angle triangle OCB. So if I have that, I'm going to have this to look like this. So here will be 40 meter per second and here will be 30 meter per second as well. So here is 30 meter per second. So, and this is our arm. So the boat is traveling like this while the river is flowing like this. And here is our resultant. Now, if you look at this now, these are the two adjacent sides of the right angle triangle. And this place is our hypotenuse that we are looking for. So we can use what? The, the Pythagoras theorem. So here is O, here is C, and here is B. So the hypotenuse is wherever the right angle is facing. So we have that OB square will equal OC square plus CB square. So if that should be the case, OB is R. So we have R square to equal OC, which is 30, so we have 30 square, plus CB, which is uh, 40, so that's 40 square. So R square is going to give us 900 plus 1600. So this equivalent to 2500. Okay, if I have 2,500 and I'm looking for result, and now R square is what equal 2,500. Hence, R is the square root of 2,500. And that will give us 50 meter per second. So, the resultant is 50 meter per second. Then we get this now. So, the resultant of this particular vectors is 50 meter per second okay now in case you are in exam or and you are given this 
if this is one of the multiple choice questions, you don't need to stress yourself. If this is 30 and this is 40, you remember the Pythagoras triple, 3, 4, 5. So if I have 3 and I have 4, I know that the, the next digit is going to be 5. So, and you can see we have 50. 30, 40, 50. Now, let's look at question 2 here. The question 2 is kind of different from question 1. So we have that in the diagram, calculate the resultant force along x axis. Remember, they don't say the resultant force of the O forces. They said the resultant force along the x axis only. So you are not to calculate for that of the vertical, and you are not to calculate for the, the <laughs> resultant force on this particular system. So you're just calculating for that of horizontal components. In other words, we are looking for the summation of the forces along the horizontal component. Now, I would like you to recall that we have that the horizontal component of a vector is given as the vector cos of the angle that it's made with the horizontal. So you can find out in that video that we have in the description box. Now, let's see this. The resultant force along the horizontal component of the second question here. So let's say it is Rx. Now, 2 Newton is already an horizontal force. So we have it on ground. 2 Newton plus, this is 4 Newton here. And it's making an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal. So we have this to be 40, 4 cos. 4 cos 30 degree. Then plus, this one is 16 Newton, but the angle is making with the horizontal is not 30 degree, but the entire angle here, that's 30 plus 30, that will give us 60. So we have that 16 cos, 16 cos 30 plus 30. So, the resultant force along the horizontal component will then be 2 Newton plus 4 cos 30. Okay? Our cos 30 should give us 0 0.866 plus 16. This is going to be 60. Cos 60 is 0 0.5. So, 4 times uh, 0 0.866, what do we have? 4 times 0 0.866. So we have 3.46. So the resultant force along the horizontal component is 2 plus 3.46 plus 16 times 0 0.5 will give us 8. So the resultant force, if I had this together, I will have 13.46 Newton. Hence, this is going to be the resultant force along the horizontal component. So, this is the first two questions out of the 10 questions that we have for this particular topic. So, kindly subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that when we drop the video, you get notified. Thank you.